so nervous. He doesn't hurt. He's very gentle. He is. Mm -hmm. The pig food's on the top. Okay. Hold on, I need your banana. Oh, yeah. Get uh, fighting over your banana pail. Maybe I should have ate two bananas. Right. Now they lost interest in the banana. Now they got their grain. I said, oh, we'll fight over the banana later on. Like the Before you feed them, let me go in there and move some stuff, and I'm gonna move the chicken tractor. Okay. I just more grass. I'm just gonna move it somewhere. Daddy. They don't eat that much. Oh, I gotta put it down and open it. Black one's coming over to say hi to you. Hi, Chiki Chiki. Now we gotta go get ready to catch the school bus. Uh huh. Oh man. Here it is, June 5th, and we're lighting a fire. Another nice thing about building your house out of wood is you have years worth of kindling stored up after you build it. Sometimes when it's raw and chilly out, it's just nice to get a little fire going, warm you up, and pick your spirits back up. There's just something about a fire. I think that's why everybody likes campfires. I like a campfire. You guys like campfires? Look at all the worms. One, two, three. If that's not just encouraging, I don't know what is. It'll be so nice once we start getting some produce out of these. All the hard effort and work will have paid off for itself.
We've got a lot of time, energy, effort. But if you think about how much produce costs at the grocery store right now, this is gonna pay for itself 10 times over. This thing will pay for itself in the first year. Especially if you eat organic food. Like I said the other day, we went and bought an organic spaghetti squash. We didn't know it until we got home. One spaghetti squash cost $10. We went and got some organic summer squash and zucchini and I think each zucchini is like two fifty. It's just crazy. Ooh, that was my knees that popped. Time for you to go in the house. Luckily, it didn't stay raining out too long. You can come back out and play now. We got a little bit done while you were stuck in the house. Not being able to work out here in the rain. We got it all chipped. Now we're gonna go get some loom and we're just gonna fill this box for now. That one, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do once we're done with the loom. With all the rain we've been having, I'm glad I tarped the loom. That way it'll keep it a little bit drier before we put it out. We're gonna cover the pile up before we go back in. It's gonna rain again. I think next time if I was making another raised bed garden system to work with the tractor of our bucket, I'd make the beds four and a half feet wide so that way when you dump in it, you don't get any on the edge. Now this right here is getting super technical.
Did you see that? Did you see that? If you didn't see the super technical part I did on that side, I'll show it to you again over here. Don't miss it. Did you get it that time? I was hoping to finish this up before it started raining. But I don't know about that. I can hear it hitting the tin roof pretty good. Just like that, but I'm gonna put her, this up here to support it, just in case. We don't need it, but if we get a good wind gust or a lot of rain, this might push it down and break it. I'd hate to break these. We've had these things for probably like four or five years. We collected them off the side of the road, and we've been waiting to use them, and we finally get to put them to use, so I'm excited. I'm gonna get this built, put together, and I'll bring you guys back out. It's raining. We can't have the camera out in this kind of weather. I'll be back in a few minutes. The pigs were working so hard. They covered themselves up and took a nap. Did you do a pass out because you were working too hard? Look at that, Mrs. Pigs. You're making some good compost for us. That's what we want. You're silly. Would you look at that? How beautiful is that? The rest of the plants that we have that are ready to come outside and get hottied off. We're going to stick it under here. Because this little greenhouse is jamming. We don't have any more room. I got that finished up just in time. And now it's raining out pretty good. Two more eggs. Alright. That means we got four eggs set aside so far for the incubator. Hey guys, thanks for the eggs. We're so excited to have this trio of Icelandic chicks so we can start hatching Icelandic chicks this growing season. We're hoping we can save up and collect 10 eggs and put them in one incubator, get them going, and we'll keep collecting more. We have two incubators, so we'll see how long it takes to collect 10 to 12 eggs. Look how much those things have greened up just from a day under that grow light. Oh, Louise is gonna see it first. I don't see anything! You don't see anything. Two more red beds. You, you made another one of those. What do you think? I guess. Oh, no. So I want them low to the ground for now. Keep the wind off of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, now I see it. What oh, does it feel like? Well, it feels like a whole pack. <laughs> well, it just feels funny. <laughs> did she wear gloves when she did this? <laughs> no, uh, she was getting fed though. Oh, I'm nervous of that rooster though. <laughs> mm. It doesn't hurt, but it kind of does. Feels funny. What? Does it feel funny? Well, they're bite, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you're trying to get that. <laughs> Do you have a glove in your pocket? Not in my pocket. Well, oh, you gotta keep it in your hand. Oh, it even feels weird on the glove. I'll try to do it without the glove. No! Oh, I'm so scared for the rooster. You have to do the rooster, Mom. I don't want to do the rooster. Yes, yes! That was my goal. I'm so excited. It might have only been one, but it was not. Mom! I'm losing feeling in my legs. Oh. You can give the seeds to me, and then I can take the rooster. Can I get the rooster? Yeah, I know. Okay. 
Come on, get a paper writer. Right? Like a what? Typewriter. Levy's like, what's a typewriter? Mm -hmm. He's more gentle than the girls. Oh See? yeah, he is. He's nervous. Yeah, I mean like, okay girls. <laughs> hey, it's the rooster's turn. Guys, girls, let the rooster in. I said the baby chickens are getting so big that they can get on the little white pipe. I like the girls got like the spiky, the crazy hair. Not crazy all the girls. Crazy hair don't care. Not all the girls. Crazy hair don't care. That's not what I look like today. Crazy hair don't care. Don't forget to like us on Instagram and Facebook. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it, it really helps the channel grow. We'll see you next time at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow's video. Bye.